Here we go! Hello, robot types. A little bit more complicated this time. Let's find and follow a line. And for that, we're going to need to talk to sensors. Now, what are sensors? Well, Wikipedia tells us that sensors are, in the broadest definition, is a device, module, machine or subsystem whose purpose is to detect changes in its environment and send the information to other electronics. In this case, the electronics is the is or are the EV3. Um, so let's have a look quickly at some, uh, some EV3 sensors. This is the one we'll use in this, which is the light detector. Um, color detector, light detector, I can't remember what the, the actual proper term is, but basically it's, it, it's not detecting colors per se, it's returning a value for reflected light. And then by that we can deduce what that color is. Another one, popular one, is the ultrasonic sensor. Now this sends, this is like a set of bat ears really, sends out a signal, sends out a noise, and then listens for that noise. And then depending on how long it takes for that noise to get back, is how far away your EV3 is, or your robot, other robots use the same sensors, how far away it is from an object. And then we've got a touch sensor, and that one, you, you press the switch and you can command it to stop. And sat on the robot at the moment is one I use a lot, that is a gyro, and that gives you your heading, returns your heading value. Because of course, things wob wheels wobble, these things aren't the best. So they wobble, the thing will go off heading. You can't just send it off on a heading and hope that it'll stay there. You need to check the heading every once in a while and make sure it's still on heading. Um, so that's, that's, the, that's the sensor as, as you buy it for Lego. And that's the same sensor, but naked. Um, you might use this for a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino uh, and, and use that to do just the same thing. This is a smoke detector or gas detector, but you can use it, you can define it as smoke to detect gas. Um, what else could we use? Oh yeah, if you if you you've got a car and you want to work out where it is on the planet, that's a GPS. That's all you need for a rover, for a, a drone or a, a car or a boat. That's the GPS that helps work out where where your device actually is. So right, let's let's dive into the code. And so the code then is quite easy. Um, first thing, the first point of all the day is to open the simulator. So let's open the simulator by tapping sim over there. There goes the sim. And you might want to move this blue block out of the way. The robot will hit this and there'll be an obstruction. So let's just park that there for argument's sake. So the aim of the game is to get to this line and follow it. This, these, these lines that you can see radiating out, that's the ultrasonic sensor. So you might want to have a look at that in your own version of this program and that blue dot on the top of the robot that is the color that's what the color sensor is seeing so you'll see we want to change until we get a black line there so let me remember you can come down here and bring the robot back to its start position by tapping that fellow there there we are back at the start position so what we're going to do we're going to drive forward until we see the color black and then when we see the color black we're going to decide to do something so that's the first thing. So you see, start, show sensor data. So repeat until, get the color. The color is connected to port three. So remember, port three, that would be, that would be the physical port that's actually connected to on the robot, the actual, the actual place. So that's what that means. That's the port that the sensor is connected to. So right, it's connected to that. So we're gonna go forward at a speed of 50%. We don't wanna to go too quickly, because we want, we want to, to detect and sense the thing in time. And then we're gonna say, looking for line. Where are we gonna say that? We're gonna say that on this. We, once we start start the program, let's put that there. We're gonna get in the way of stuff. But this this will give us an indication of what, what our robot's doing. That's why I like to put something there so I know when I'm running my code. So this show text over here, looking for line, is happening while the driving forwards at speed of 50% is happening. And that tells me what the robot's doing or where the robot is in my code when it's running along. Uh, and that in column in row, that's just where it's printed on the screen. So if, so repeat until, so we're gonna repeat until we see the color black. Then once we found the color black, we're gonna say we found the line and we're tracking it and that's gonna happen somewhere else. And then 
then of course how do we track it well we've got to turn towards that line um, and that's what we're going to do next we're going to turn left in this case and go either way okay so you can modify this code however you want and then once we're there we're just going to dither left and right can we see it can't see it can see it can't see it can see it can't see it and that will keep us on track so it's a very crude a very crude way of following a line but it works so let's start running the program so remember that's the arrow down the bottom start the program and hopefully something will happen there we go off it goes now it's see green now it sees red looking for line on our ev3 found the line turn oh didn't go too far going to ah there we are now we're following the line so it's as simple as that that is using the color sensor to detect and follow a line this will work on a real ev3 it works on this virtual ev3 so play around play around with the different sensors see if you can make it do something different with the ultrasonic sensor with the distance sensor now see i'll put this blue block here you'll see it later i won't like that and also you might want to remember you can let's, let's stop that running you can change the background that's this um scene at the bottom you can change the scene and you can detect different things using different sensors with that just have a play around play around with these variables and see what you can make happen We'll move on to a different sort of robot next. This is basic EV3 and basic blocks programming that applies across the board. Good luck, everybody. See you next time.